Hey, Colin. Uh, with, uh, I know a Coach mentioned earlier, Ruben might be gone for a long time, if not the season. How do you like the, the other three guys uh, that, that back him up and all take over those reins? Yeah, no, absolutely. I think, uh, first of all, I've had a lot of guys that have contributed well in that position through camp. Um, you know, with Lev and Amari obviously heading point uh, in his absence and, and obviously heartbreaks for Ruben, all the work and uh, time that he put into um, and was having a, a tremendous camp. So obviously our hearts are with him and we'll, we'll be with him through his recovery process. But uh, I'm not worried about the position. Coach Trooper Taylor and, and uh, Coach Lentz are, are, are doing a great job. So we'll, we'll be good. We will fourth row on the left side to Rob and then Olin. Howdy, Coach. Howdy. Um, so, so what were some bright spots uh, on the offense during this camp? And, and, and also, what do you think our advantage is in this brutal Texas heat, um, you know, as Notre Dame comes for the first game? Yeah, no, I, I think collectively, I think uh, uh, have gotten um, a lot more comfortable with, with schematically the, the offense and, and what we're trying to ask of them to do. I think our understanding of what we're trying to get done has, has definitely increased. Um, you know, I, I think the biggest thing that, that we're, we're working on right now is just consistency, you know, because we've really had some good, some bright spots throwing the football. We've had a, had a number of receivers step up. I know Jade Walker is, has really made some contested catches. I know Noah Thomas is, is really stepping up and taking some leadership in that room and uh, has made some huge plays for us. Uh, obviously, Connor is, has shown and, and, and really stepped up and, and putting the ball in some tight windows and, and giving them some chances to make plays. And, uh, but again, consistency is the name of the game and being able to make sure that we can do those things, play in and play out, drive in and drive out to, uh, you know, to keep the thing, thing moving how it should. So, but no, really pleased. I, I think all the way around, I can go to every area and, and uh, again, be, be encouraged with what, what the guys have done. We'll go second row on the right side to Olin and then Alex. Yeah, Coach, uh, first of all, forgive me for this being kind of a long, convoluted question. But oh, no worries. Uh, I know that uh, at Florida State, Florida State, Kansas State, y'all like to uh, utilize the tight end. You were able to utilize yeah. the tight end very effectively. Yeah. Um, do you still foresee that to being a, a, a big part of this offense? And if so, uh, what, from the uh, personnel standpoint, allows you to do that? Yeah, I, I think the tight ends have had a good camp. Uh, I think – um, Trey Watson, you know, is, is really doing a nice job and, and runs great routes, has a good understanding of, of how he fits in, into schemes, uh, has good ball skills. I think, um, you know, Theo has done some really, really good job, uh, really good things at the point of attack and, and provides just some versatility there. You know, and then, and then uh, Donovan Green coming back from injury and, and Shane Calhoun, our transfer, have, have both really uh, done some nice things. So I think we got a good, a good mix of skill sets, a good – uh, a good balance of things that each one will be able to bring to that room and uh, give us some advantages for sure because it's uh, uh, a big part of what we're going to do. We'll go second row on the left side to Alex and then Sam. What have you seen from Mike Atiz in particular the last couple weeks and just kind of what he brings to the table there in that receiver room? Uh, I've really appreciated how Micah competes. I mean, I mean, he really competes hard every single day, every single rep. I think it was uh, two practices ago, had a couple really, really big time contested catches on some conversion downs in the, in the red zone that you know keep you from kick, kicking a field goal or, or in the two minute situations we were doing or whatever, give you a chance to, to win the football game and uh, just does an unbelievable job competing and, and shows up every day, so. We'll stay on the left side, third row to Sam. Hey, Colin, a couple guys I want to ask you about. One, Armaj, your lineman transfer from Kansas, how's he look so far? Yeah, Armaje, uh, he is a competitive son of a gun now. I mean, like he is, uh, he's got great energy every single day at practice. Um, he's got great, a high level of physicality um, and, and is able to create movement on, on doubles and, and uh, uh, athletic and, and gives us some flexibility of, of where we can put people and uh, really excited for him and, and the camp he's had. And uh, Cyrus Allen, the receiver, what have your thoughts been on him? Yeah, no, Cyrus has, has been really good, I think. Uh, uh, you know, I think he's really got uh, a burst to him. You know, to to where he gives you some uh, chances to push the field, uh, push the ball down the field vertically, um, and and stretch the defense. So, uh, has done some really nice things. We'll go front row on the right side to Brent and then Carter. Coach Elko has kind of described the offensive line as a work in progress. How do you mm -hmm. see it shaping up, and also the battle at center as well? Yeah, no, I, I think there's a lot of different combinations. There's a high level of competition in a couple different spots. Um, you know, I think that'll carry on even over 
not just even the next couple of weeks, but probably even into the early season of, of kind of mixing and matching some, uh, some combinations to, to find that right groove, keep people fresh. Um, and thankfully, we've got a couple guys that, that have provided us that versatility. So it's, it is a work in progress, but again, we're, we're guys are doing a nice job. Center? Center, no, it's, uh, you know, Mark Naboo's done a really nice job, and, and Coley's done a tremendous job, and, and those two are, are part of that mix that, that he's talking about and that, that we're trying to figure out. I wanted to ask you about a couple of guys who might end up seeing some playing time now, EJ Smith and Denota as mm -hmm. well, what they kind of bring to the table for you. Yeah, no, EJ, you know, he, he was a little, little dinged up this summer, so getting him back healthy, and, and I thought in the last week has really uh, kind of turned the corner physically to where you can see he's really feeling good again, you know, and, and – uh, uh, has done some good things in the past game and, and catching the football and, and has good ball skills, provides us some versatility to move him around the field a little bit. Um, and and Denota is just steady Eddie, man. I mean, he, he's, he's a tough sucker and, and uh, really does a nice job getting north and south on, on some of those schemes to, to get you those tough yards. You know, he can turn a three into a five or six, or, uh, which is huge. We'll go second row on the right side to Carter. Colin, uh, Mike mentioned that uh, – Terry Bussey's been moved around a little bit, mm -hmm. trying to get the ball in his hands a little bit more. I'm curious if, if he were to move permanently to offense, which position do you feel like makes the most sense for him? Yeah, no, I, I think we will be able to move him around quite a bit. He's even in a short time uh, shown really, really high capacity um, and, and adapted pretty quickly for, for the time and, and how things have transpired. Um, I, I think I think there's his skill set is very diverse. I mean, he's got great natural route running ability. He's got really really good ball skills on the move, um, but he's obviously big and physical enough to uh, you know to move him in the backfield and, and all over the field. So I think it's going to be a, a pretty diverse skill set for us. He's he's done a really nice job and made some big plays uh, down the field attacking the football. We'll go back behind the lights on the left side to Nicole. With this being your first season, how do you just draw, um, judge per, um, progress in fall camp? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't know if uh, it's probably even a better question for Coach Elko. It's uh, all of our heads and, and my head has been down uh, to the grindstone trying to take one step at a time, one day at a time. I think I'm very, very proud of our guys and, and the steps we've made as far as on the big picture. Hey, we still got two more weeks to, to keep pounding away and, and, and get every inch that we can. I think some of the, uh, the rotations and, and personnel of, and competition battles have made us better um, and, and solidified some things um, you know, it, uh, on the edge and, and inside. But again, just got to keep pounding away right now. You know, we'll, we'll, we got two more good weeks to work before we kick this thing off. So really proud of our guys and, and how they bought in and attacked things. But we got, we got two more weeks to work. So. We'll go front row on the left side to Cease and then Mark. Coach, since you do use a lot of tight ends, how deep ideally is your wide receiver rotation? And are you are there right now or getting there? Yeah, no, I, I think we, we will be able to play a good number of guys. I mean, uh, probably depends a little bit on the week. I think probably anywhere from four to six, we'll, we'll see you know, time, um, depending on, on, on how things are going and, and in that game. Uh, probably three to four, taking the majority uh, of the load and, and the work, and then you know, kind of kind of sprinkling in from there based on how things go. We'll stay on that front row to Mark, and then wrap things up with Sam. Uh, Coach, you've got, like you said, you got two weeks to finish this off. How far along are you in the implementation of the offense, and how well do you think they've taken to it to this point? Yeah, no, I'm, everything is in. E everything's been in, you know, for the last probably – five or six days, minus some nuanced stuff and some special situation stuff here and there. Uh, again, I think we've intentionally pushed them really, really hard um, and tried to build as broad a foundation as we can to make sure that we can build and use everything that, that we're going to need through uh, the course of a, of a long year. And so um, really, really proud of them, how they've attacked it. Um, you know, Again, I think uh, we're not as consistent as I would like right now across the board, uh, but We've made great progress. They're making great progress, and, and uh, really excited for, for what this group is, is capable of. We'll wrap things up. Third row on the left side to Sam. Con, when we first visited you in the spring, you mentioned that one of the things that attracted you here was the vision that Coach Elko laid out to turn mm -hmm. this program into a big-time success. Now that we're on the eve of camp wrapping up and you've been here for a while, what, what has struck you most about what, how that vision has been played out? 
And yeah, I, I think it's uh, uh, everything has taken shape uh, pretty much exactly as, as was projected and, and laid out by coach, uh, you know, and, and understanding that uh, this, is a, this is a process that we're working through and, and staying consistent to that process. But uh, it, it's been outstanding. I've, I've really uh, loved working for Coach Elko and, and, and his vision and consistency, I think, is – uh, is is extraordinary, you know, and, and it's something we're just day in and day out, one day at a time, one play at a time, and, and having that type of mentality to fuel and, and direct that big picture vision of, of where we're going, I think, is uh, has held true from what, what I thought it was going to be. All right, that's all we have. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you, guys.